hello viewers today we will learn how to add proxy in ads power browser as you know the anti ads power browser is one of the most popular browsers in market so i will show you how to add proxy in this and how to use this browser so just keep watching this video till the end so firstly i will go to the my proxy service provider website so my in my case it is tisocks.net so you can go to any proxy server website which you have okay just go to this and copy any ip from this okay i will copy one ip from here so i will write some location name here so i will use canada okay i will use canada here i have searched canada then i will click this ip uh, i will click this ip and once the ip comes so i will copy this ip and then i have to go to this uh, our ads power browser so now i am into this ads power browser so there is a button called new profile on top left side just click this button and now a form will be open you know a fingerprint browser a fingerprint profile will be open so in name you know uh, there is a written as that name is optional because name is optional but i will still write some name in order to identify it in group i mean you don't have to select anything tags just leave it empty and after that like you need to make some browser changes okay so i will wait uh, for this to get load properly so okay so it is loaded so i will now go to the browser section and uh, then make some little change okay so i will go to the sun browser and i'll select chrome 115 okay just you can i mean do any random change okay so now select now i have to select operating system you can uh, the select windows mac linux android or ios since uh, in my case i am interested in windows so i will select windows you can select any uh, operating system according to your need okay according to your need you can select any system and user agent and do not have to do anything like leave it blank so other important thing cookies for example if we have uh, cookies already imported with gmail logged in you can just Im uh, import it here and the gmail will automatically get logged in and now the important step about is proxy then in proxy type you have to select http and you have to uh, paste that proxy which you have copied from the proxy service providers website so i have already copied it so what i will do is i will just uh, paste it here and then there is a button called check proxy i will just click this button and see whether it is uh, okay or not you know so we have to we have to click this button every time because uh, it checks that whether proxy is working or not so as you can see that connection is failed so i will use another proxy because some proxy has some problems so i will use another proxy of canada so what i will do is i'll do the same i'll just copy this uh, ip and then i will just delete this ip address and i have delete this port number i will just again uh, paste it and then i have to click this button okay check proxy so now you can see this connection has passed it means that the proxy is working so the ip address is now given so the proxy is 100% working now so now i have to scroll a bit and just leave it blank just leave it blank just copy me you know you just need to copy me you don't have to do anything by your own okay now so i have another option that is advanced section in advanced section i have to like make some changes as well just uh, keep watching till then okay in uh, like in time zone just keep it simple in web rtc you just need to select this replace button always need to select this replace button never uh, select rear or disabled okay and location uh, just leave it as it is ask leave it as in languages yes you can leave it as it is in screen resolutions you can uh, select any screen okay you can select any screen and i have already told you that uh, you need to make some random changes because uh, your pc should be uh, like should look like a different pc so uh, that's the reason that uh, i am choosing like different resolution you you can uh, do the same way okay so just uh, like you need to see all the, that everything is filled and now one more thing that you need to do some changes here also device memory so and hardware concurrency just do some random changes here and select any figure here okay select any figure here there is no hard and fast rule that you have to select only this you can do uh, like you can select anything and now after this click this okay button and it will create 
one profile for us so I have clicked this ok button and now you will see that uh, a profile will come here so it is st it is still loading so I have to wait ok so the profile is created in front of me so the very first step after creating profile is to like click this open button and you know uh, the, the data will process and IP obtaining information uh, a loading will come and uh, it will open okay so the so our pay our uh, browser is open our browser with proxy is open so the very first thing you need to do after uh, creating this profile is to like visit this whoer.net is because you need to check the anonymity of the browser so i will just click this and you can see that 100 percent anonymity score is there so in this way you can set up a proxy in this you need to make sure that the region must be here the region will be correct the pin code should be correct when checked on wh oer thank you for watching